That is real nice. Obsession. Lonnie Liston-Smith along with Phyllis Hyman. Lonnie just cooling with those sunglasses on there. <laughs> <laughs> he always looks so cool, man. Yeah, it's well, you know, always, always been that way, you know, just... Just cool, mellow. just yeah, cool. Well, I, I guess, plus, I, you know, I'm, I get into meditation, and I'm a vegetarian, so I guess uh -huh. I'm, I'm adding to all that. Very yeah. Yeah, I've never yeah. known anyone to be as laid back and pleasant, consistently pleasant, which is one of the reasons I was very happy that he asked me to be a part of the project. And I don't do many projects, mainly because I really have to know and like the artist. I prefer mm -hmm. that. Mm -hmm. It makes more sense to me because doing a duet means that you are connected to this record for the rest of your life, your career. Yeah. And uh, I want to be able to perform this song with him, so when I was asked to do this show today, you do what you can to to do it with him because you're you're connected to the record and mm -hmm. uh it's your name it's your song it's his playing it's his record and we're, we're part you know kind of like family with the record mm -hmm. so as soon as i got the offer i begged kenny gamble i said please let me do this because i've been asked by other artists to perform on their records and we've had to turn them down because of you know because of the scheduling and mm -hmm. we can't have too many records out there but i said no, i really want to work with lonnie so he let me do Grover's piece, and um, then when Lonnie asked, uh, I had to turn down a few other people, but I was able to do Lonnie's record. So when are you going to work with Phyllis? When are we getting uh, another Phyllis, Phyllis album? Please, we just went through this. Oh, well, I have an album that's ready. We have been working on an album forever. Right. And, yeah, it's called uh, In the Prime of My Life, Phyllis mm -hmm. Hyman in the Prime of Her Life. And <clears throat> one of the songs on the album is In the Prime of My Life. And what we're waiting for is the right distribution deal. Mm -hmm. If I'm not mistaken, uh, well, actually, I shouldn't tell Mr. Gamble's business on the air. I don't know if I'm allowed to say these things. But he's just made a major publishing deal with one of the majors. Mm -hmm. And he's about to sign the, uh, have the ink. Quit laughing out there. Somebody, somebody hears me telling the story. Yeah, we heard this before. <laughs> <laughs> now, I'm praying that this is, this is right this time because this album's over a year old. Ooh. I've been performing it for the audiences, and they love it, so the material's already out there, as I did with Living All Alone. Mm -hmm. I let the audience hear. They tell me, hey, it's a, it's a winner, let's go for it. But it's hard sometimes to get the record companies to see that. Mm -hmm. Because we were talking earlier about the packaging of artists and how they're picking up kids off the street, pretty much. The producers are producing these records. These kids have little or no talent. They look right. Mm -hmm. I'm telling you, get a girl, get the hair weave on there and make her lose 30 pounds. And you got a hit record. Can't sing a lick. Can't sing a note. Now, now, how does that make you feel, though, Phyllis, as an artist? I mean, who's worked so hard for so many years, and you are an artist. I mean, you sing. It, can you say this on the air? It pisses me off. I think you can. It makes me big time <laughs> you angry. You just said it. <laughs> it makes me yeah. big time angry because of the fact that I have spent so many years developing this talent and working very hard at it. And then I realize sometimes some parts of the industry, they're only interested in quick results, mm -hmm. instant results. They get these artists, and these artists are thrown away afterwards. They think they're, they're on the road to their big break. You hear from them this year, you don't hear from them anymore. That's very but true. They're being used, and they're being discarded. Mm -hmm. Now, I've been in this industry since 76 making records, and I have gotten real strong because I have been depressed for many years because I only bring on a record every five years due unfortunately to politics in this business. <clears throat> Being with Kenny Gamble has been a joy because he has been very supportive of me mm -hmm. <laughs> and I'm grateful even though it doesn't pay the bills you know I'm able to work on the road and do things with Lonnie and Grover because people believe in me but it really it's taken its toll on me because I've been real depressed. I won't deny that. Mm -hmm. That we have a record we've been sitting on. We work, we're on the road working, but we can't work as much as we normally would because we need a record. It's all, it's at that whole, that whole scenario yeah. that you have to go through. Whereas, as an artist, I should just be able to go work and make music, but it's not like that. It's, it's really changed. It's like the record oh, companies. Yeah. A lot of them is being run by numbers people no question by, you know people, people don't know anything that, about music that they aren't into artists you know they just want to see bottom line not numbers absolutely. Right? bottom line is dem demographics yeah but but I, I got a great feeling about the 90s i think it's, it's all coming back I because I do just too. like you were telling me about the time of getting back together yeah. right that's a good i mean sign. It is, it, it's, it's all, all this yeah, is a good sign i mean mm -hmm. music has to come back mm -hmm. so it's, real it's, artists it's with talent. identities yes. that's it. absolutely yeah. you got it Thank you both so much for being on with us. Oh, thank you. Really appreciate thank it. You're fantastic. Pleasure. Thank hey, you. I enjoyed it. Phyllis Hyman and Lonnie Liston Smith, our guest today on Video Soul. We'll be back in a couple of minutes. Don't go. Oh, this is Lonnie's album, by the way. I have to hold this up. We don't have Phyllis's yet. We, I'm telling you, Lonnie, you, Lonnie the Lover. Pick it up in your local record store today. We'll be back.
watching this other long-distance company. Try to call Phoenix?